Hi, Will from Sound on Sound at the Frankfurt Music Messe with Martin from Dutch and Dutch. Martin, how are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Very well, thanks, yes. And what are we looking at today then? What's this? What is this speaker all about? What we're looking at here is the Dutch and Dutch 8C. It is a very new studio monitor. It's of very high quality and it's uh, designed actually to sound very good in the room. Because if you take, um, well, there are other speakers that are very accurate monitors. We're not the only ones to make very accurate monitors. But um, one thing that is often forgotten or just um, doesn't deserve the attention it, it needs is the inter interaction with the room. And the HCs, they're designed to interact very well with the room. So, so tell us about that then. What You're interacting with the front wall or what? Yes, for instance, the front wall. That's a very important aspect of what the HC does very well. Um, normally, if you put a monitor in a room, you get early reflections, you get boundary reinforcement, you get all sorts of stuff that affects the sound that you're hearing. And the ACs, they, um, they're actually designed to work very well with the front wall. So they're designed to be placed relatively close to the wall. And uh, for instance, in the back, there are two woofers. And the, um, if the distance between the, the back of the enclosure of the ACs and the wall is very small in terms of wavelengths, we are looking at long waves at low frequencies, then the woofers and the wall, they actually become one system. They couple to the wall. So you no longer have the reflection against the wall, which you would normally have, but they are one system. And you get one coherent wavefront that radiates to the front. So what's the, uh, the benefit there for the, for the user? For the user, the benefit is that the bass is tighter, it's more punchy, because you get that one coherent wavefront in instead of a smeared wavefront in time. You get a tighter, punchier sound, uh, more accurate bass reproduction. And for instance, if we look at the mid-range, it's a cardioid. So okay. that is very special, actually. There are not that many cardioids out there. And how are you achieving that? That's a good question. That's uh, actually quite difficult to achieve. Um, a cardioid, you can basically form a cardioid by having two sources, one in front and one in the back. And what you do with the one in the back is you feed it the same signal, but with inverted polarity. And it has a delay, a time delay, that, uh, that corresponds with the distance between the two sources. Right. And what the source in the back then does is all the sound that comes from the front driver and is traveling towards the back, it cancels. Okay. So then you get a cardioid. And what we're doing in the 8C is we're actually doing that in an acoustic way. So we're not having one active driver in the front, one in the back. We're using the fact that as a driver moves forwards and backwards, that the sound that it creates on the front and the back, they're in antiphase with each other. Right, okay. So we're using that, and uh, we have a very special construction to filter the sound that goes into the enclosure so that we form the cardioid. But it's an entirely acoustic cardioid, so no right. DSP in, uh, interaction or whatever. So, Right, okay, so that, that deals with uh, uh, the reflections going backwards then. Correct. Um, what about, uh, you, it looks like you have a waveguide on the front as well. Yes. Uh, the waveguide is there to match the directivity of the cardioid. So a cardioid is narrower than a conventional uh, monopole loudspeaker. And we wanted to extend that directivity to higher frequencies. So the HC is actually a very constant directivity loudspeaker. And what that does is uh, you don't only get a very accurate sound of the accurate direct sound, but also all reflections, they have the same spectrum, the same tonal balance as the direct sound. And so if you, for instance, you're on axis, you get very accurate direct sound. But if you were to move off axis, you still get very accurate sound. It's only getting less and less loud as you move farther off axis. And that makes the sweet spot larger, but it's also all those reflections that you're still going to have in your room, they have the same tonal balance, the same timbre. OK, and um, what about frequency response then? Frequency response, they start at 20 hertz and they go all the way up to 20 kilohertz. OK, the full extent of human hearing. Everything. Excellent. And also, in terms of room correction then, um, how are you handling that? Yes, we are. So um, these uh, ACs, there is a computer built inside and you can connect them to the ethernet and they are actually connected to the internet as well. So, um, for instance, you can, uh, when there is a new firmware update, mm -hmm. uh, you get, uh, you, there's an app with the ACs. So you have an app and uh, there you get the notification there is a new firmware update. So you can download the new firmware if you like to and install that. Mm -hmm. In the app you can also do um, setup. So you tell the AC you're 30 centimeters from the wall behind and you're 70 from the side wall. Then the AC will automatically load the right presets that 
correspond with those distances. Right, uh, so it's as simple as that, then you don't have to get yes. into the nuts and bolts of it? No, it's, it's, it's very simple. Um, besides that, you can also do some um, uh, parametric EQs. So if you still have some standing waves with, with, well, with, with peaks in the bass, boomy bass, you can re reduce the amplitude of those peaks mm -hmm. with a parametric equalizer. And um, it's all built inside. Uh, when are they going to be shipping then, uh, and how much are they going to cost? We are already shipping. We've been shipping uh, since the end of 2017. And the price in euros is, including VAT, 9,950 for the pair.